there are those of us that do not want to do a second pass of recording into an HDMI output. I've recorded all my stuff to my camera. Now I just want to bring it into Final Cut Pro. Well, some of us have had headaches with that in the past also. I'm going to share with you guys today a little bit of software coming out of Canon that's really going to make that a lot easier on you. So uh, if you'll join me over here at my computer. I'm going to uh, Google EOS plugin E1. Verge, can we get my computer up on program out, please? Thank you. So right up in my little Google bar, you'll notice I've typed in EOS plugin E1. You guys see that? When I run that search, it will be the number one uh, response on your Google search. It's this Canon Digital Learning Center release of this plugin software. The EOS plugin E1 is a Final Cut Pro plugin. Uh, check out this link. It's got a lot of cool information, including when you use this feature, you're adding time code. And most importantly, you've got the opportunity to transcode directly to your ProRes codex. So once you've downloaded and installed this software, you can open up Final Cut Pro, go to the login transfer window, and change your capture settings to take your compact flash card reader into Final Cut Pro and not have to capture the H.264 first. You can capture directly to ProRes 422. This is going to save you a lot of time. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to pop open Final Cut Pro here. In the meantime, once, uh, you, you'll remember, once you've caught that EOS plugin page, you'll come to this page with, that shows all the features. You're going to have to go to this EOS Movie plugin. I'm just going to zoom in right here. This little EOS Movie plugin link. Click that link. It's going to take you to a new page where you will have to enter You will have to enter your operating software. So we're going to go to drivers and software. I'm going to tell it that my operating system is Macintosh OS X. And now we've got a list of very useful pieces of software. The most important one right here, EOS Movie Plugin for Final Cut Pro version 1.1. Click on that box. Download that program. Install it. Why? Because once you've done that, when you go into Final Cut Pro and you do a login transfer, so let's go to File. Login transfer. And you click on this settings box here. Check this out. You see the settings box? See where I'm zooming in there? This settings box is now going to have an option for Canon EOS 1 EOS movie. That means when you've got your compact flash card with material recorded from the from the DSLR cameras, you can Change that to be Apple ProRes, 444, 422 HQ. You've got all these ProRes options. So you don't have to first record in H.264 and then convert it to ProRes. You download that little piece of software. You connect your compact flash card reader to Final Cut Pro, log and transfer, set your settings to ProRes 422, and on your first pass, you've got a 422 copy of all the footage you recorded to your compact flash card.